Welcome back everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you some massage techniques, also known as soft tissue techniques, to give you some relief from pain under the foot. The pain under the foot is usually caused by plantar fasciitis. The plantar fascia is attached from under the heel to the ball of your feet, also known as the metatarsals. It's a thin sheath of connective tissue. Now, this sheath can easily get irritated, especially if you're slightly overweight and you have poor biomechanics in your feet, for example, having flat feet, and you're wearing inappropriate footwear where you have to do a lot of walking or standing due to your daily routines, this sheath can get irritated quite easily and therefore get inflamed and cause a lot of pain in your foot to the point that some people can't even walk. So these soft tissue techniques, also known as massage techniques, could definitely give you some relief from this uh, pain and start getting you to, into recovery and instead of getting ongoing pain. So I hope these techniques help you as much as they help me and my patients. Longitudinal muscle stripping. Get some moisturizing cream, or if you're like me, you can use Sobeline cream. And just glide your thumbs over the tissues under your foot. I like to place a towel under my foot and ankle because this will allow me to wipe down any excess creams and oils so it doesn't drip over my furniture. Make sure you lather some moisturizer on your foot before you apply your thumbs onto the heel towards the ball of the foot. Longitudinal muscle stripping is a type of massage that runs along the muscle fibers. Within this case, it's the connective tissues that run from A to B from the heel to the ball of the foot. Just apply enough pressure that it creates a slight discomfort. Don't press too hard as you may injure your thumbs or it can cause some bruising or an injury in your foot. If you find that your thumbs are getting too tired or sore or you would like to add more pressure, I recommend using a double thumb technique. This will allow you to have more support on both thumbs and possibly even apply more pressure as well. Just place one thumb over the other and resume doing the same longitudinal muscle stripping. Do this for one to two minutes and give yourself a break and repeat it four to five times. However, don't be afraid to spend more time on other areas that need more massaging. After you tried this for a few times, you will develop a personal preference on where and how you're gonna be massaging your foot. For example, I notice I get much more relief massaging from the inside of the foot and working my way towards the outside and then back in again. Cross fiber massage. The fibers of the plantar fascia runs from the heel to the ball of the foot. With cross frictional massage, you apply pressure across these fibers. Sometimes, when the muscles or the fibers are tight, you may feel a flick of the fibers under your hands or your elbows, or in this case, under your thumbs. I recommend using the double thumb technique to run the thumbs from the inside to the outside of the foot to work on the fibers all the way through the foot. Do this in a slow and controlled manner for at least 20 strokes on each area, or do it for about one to two minutes on each area and return to that area four to six times. If your thumbs still get sore and tired, or if you would like to prevent yourself from degenerative change such as arthritis, I stumbled over this tool called a thumb saver. I use this tool quite often in clinical practice to help my patients improve their health and work on the muscular issues that they may present. I noticed when I used this tool, it gave me much more leverage and gave me more control on the therapy I was giving. I think it's got to do with the way this tool is designed, allowing me to grasp onto the handle properly and pressing onto the areas that I need to. This is one of my go-to tools for soft tissue technique. I'll put a link in the description box below. Once again, I want to remind you that the plantar fascia is a thick connective tissue which supports the arch of the bottom of the foot. It originates from the tuberosity of the calcaneus, which is the heel bone then heads down to the metal tarsal bones at the ball of your foot. This connective tissue normally can get irritated or even get inflamed from flat feet or excessive standing or running. Spoon therapy. This is normally known as gua sha in traditional Chinese medicine and it's been used mainly all over East Asia. There are many types of gua sha tools out there such as coins, jaded tools, buffalo horn, or even plastic ones. I'll show you a simple technique with a ceramic soup spoon. Since you can easily find this tool and it has a nice smooth blunt edge to reduce any chance of damage or injury on your foot. You can find these spoons at almost any Asian grocery store or just follow the link in the description box below on where to get them. 
the edge of the spoon will allow you to have more leverage and be able to add more pressure onto the tissues of your foot compared to a simple thumb pad. Just like the techniques before, just run the spoon in a slow and controlled manner up the tissues in the plantar fascia under your foot. For longitudinal stripping, just move from the bottom of the heel to the ball of the foot back and forth. And for cross fiber massage, just work over the foot perpendicular to the fibers. I found that cross frictional massage appeared to be more effective with gua sha techniques. However, this can be quite subjective. I really recommend spending about 1-2 to two minutes stripping down the connective tissues of the plantar fascia. However, please be mindful on the pressure that you'll be placing on your foot and repeat this 4-5 to five times. Since the plantar fascia can easily be irritated, please stop immediately if you're causing yourself more pain. Graston Soft Tissue Mobilization Technique This is a tool that's been growing in popularity, especially among manual therapists such as chiropractors, physiotherapists, osteopaths, and even some masseuses. It's commonly known as a Graston tool or also known among professionals as Instrumental Assisted Soft Tissue Mobilization Tool or in short, a ISTM tool. A lot of IASTM tools can be very aggressive so I recommend starting off using the broad side of the tool and glide from the base of the heel to the ball of the foot. Do this in a firm and slow controlled manner and spend about 1-2 to two minutes on the plantar fascia and then give yourself a break and then repeat this technique again 4-5 to five times. If you feel that there is not enough pressure with the broad contact you can always try to start doing the technique with a smaller contact on the side of the tool. When you glide the tool over your skin you might feel some granulations that is catching against the tool. After a few passes these granulations may get broken down or smoothed out. As a result this can give you quite a lot of relief as these granulations are being mentioned to actually cause the pain in your foot. One of the reasons why I like this tool so much is because of its design. The tool has engineered holes into the medical grade stainless steel for better ergonomics. For the person to use the tool with ease and create better results with their therapy. No matter which position you choose to hold the tool. As long as you thread your fingers through the hole, it will give you much more leverage to press and massage the fibers in your foot or other areas of the body that needs to be worked on. I'll put a link in the description box below on where to get this tool. A research paper was published in the Journal of Physical Therapy Science on the effects of Graston technique on pain and range of motion in patients with chronic low back pain in 30 patients. 15 people were subjected to Graston and the other 15 weren't. The results showed that Graston technique with general exercises resulted with much more pain relief and increased range of motion. So I highly recommend if you're going to do Graston or Gua Sha, make sure you do some exercises as well to get better results. Now if you have more tension at the heel or more specific parts of the plantar fascia, you can try using the tip of this tool. But once again, please do this with caution as it can get quite painful and even cause damage in the foot if you apply too much pressure. A good area to massage out is the attachment of the plantar fascia at the heel. This area tends to have a lot of bony spurs develop due to the extreme stress and tension of the plantar fascia. By using the point of this tool, you can get quite specific on the area that you're working on to break up tension and give yourself much more relief. Just work on this area or any area that you feel like you need to work on in a gentle manner for about 1-2 to two minutes 4-5 to five times. Once again, all these techniques can aggravate the foot and cause more pain. So please do the icing technique at the end of this video to give yourself the best results as possible. Ball Massage Place a ball under your foot while sitting on a chair. Now simply roll the ball up and down the foot. From the heel to the ball of your foot working on the plantar fascia in a longitudinal manner parallel to the fibers. Do this for about 1-2 to two minutes and repeat it 4-5 to five times. Don't forget to do cross frictional therapy and roll the ball from side to side whilst leaning your weight over the foot to allow sufficient pressure on the foot to work on the fibers of the fascia. I think this is one of the easiest way to massage out the plantar fascia or even give yourself a foot massage since you can easily just watch TV or keep working at a desk whilst you're massaging your foot. 
The pressure you apply on the massage is all controlled by yourself. If you would like to add more pressure, simply just lean onto the ball or even just press your foot down onto the ball. This is one of the most common massage techniques that are given out to patients in all disciplines, physio, chiro, osteopath, and even masseuses. All you need is a firm, strong ball to massage the underside of your foot. You can use a tennis ball, a cricket ball, or even a hockey ball. I find that I get the best results from a firm rubber massage ball compared to all the sports balls out there. I'll put a link in the description box below on where to get them. Foot scissors. This is one of my favorite techniques I like to do on myself and my patients. Since there is very little equipment needed, grab your foot with both hands and with your thumbs pressing underneath your foot, just shuffle your bones back and forth. There are five toes in your foot, so possibly work between each joint of the foot and loosen up any tightness that's in the joints and stretch out the tiny muscles that are in the foot to allow better movement. Do about 20 shuffles between each gap between the bones that are attached to your toes, the metatarsal bones, and repeat this three to four times back and forth from the inside and outside of your feet. Iced bottle massage. The purpose of this technique is to cool down the foot after you worked through it with massage techniques of this video. The plantar fascia usually causes pain when it's inflamed and irritated, and the techniques of this video can cause more irritation because it helps increase blood flow and movement into the area. However, the massage technique can cause swelling and inflammation as well. So to simply reduce the swelling and inflammation, just get a water bottle and place it in the fridge or the freezer overnight. So when you want to use it, just place the water bottle on the floor and roll your foot over it. There is no need to apply excessive amounts of pressure because the whole purpose of this massage technique is to reduce pain and swelling in your feet. Do this in a slow and controlled manner for 5 minutes. Give yourself a break, let your feet warm up again and repeat the process 3 to 4 times. Feel free to spend more time on areas that you find that the water bottle is giving you more relief. Once again, thanks for watching. I really recommend you join my VIP Facebook group. I want to build a community there where you can ask questions and we can all answer them together as a group and that way we can help each other out. Now, if you want to support me a little bit more, definitely join my Patreon. Um, I'll be uploading a lot more exclusive content there as well. Now, if you like this video, I highly recommend you check out my Fix Your Pelvic Tilt video. That video will definitely help you, especially if you do have biomechanical issues in your feet. There's a chance that you're compensating somewhere else, for example, your pelvic uh, tilt. Now, if you do have other issues like, for example, pelvic tilt issues, hip issues or ankle issues, there could be a chance that you might have knee issues as well. So check out my patella tendonitis video that these two videos will definitely help you have a better biomechanics, especially from running and daily routines. Remember, support my channel, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.